Arborists today use a variety of different tools during rigging operations. We've got rigging blocks, rescue pulleys, connecting links, a number of different rope tools. We've got lowering devices, other friction devices. And, you know, it's very important that we gain a little bit of an understanding about these different tools so that we can make the right choice for the right job. It's so true. For decades, arborist equipment was really quite limited. Times are changing and equipment's changing. Manufacturers are building equipment for the tree care industry. There's arborist blocks, for example, that are designed for heavy duty dynamic loading. Let's look at some of the features and characteristics of the arborist blocks. In my hand here, I have the sheave and the rope is passed over the sheave. The lowering line passes over and around the sheave and we want it to be large enough so that it is compatible with the lowering line. It gives us a favorable bend radius. You can see here that we have a bushing that's pressed into that sheave. That helps to reduce friction as it spins over the shoulder bolt. Here we have another sheave. It's sometimes referred to as a bushing, but you'll notice that it doesn't have an oil light bushing pressed into it. That's because it is not spinning. Rather, the sling is passed over it and then fastened to the tree, for example. Now, you'll notice that in this case, the cheat plates will extend beyond the rope to protect the rope as the rope uh, rotates over the sheave to keep it from rubbing against the tree and abrading the rope. Okay, now another thing that you can see here is that we've got a space obviously between the cheek plates and we want that to be a large enough space so that the rope isn't rubbing on either cheek plate. Now in this case we have aluminum that the cheek plates are made of. Here we have steel, okay. There are different characteristics, for example, heat dissipation. If the rope was to run across or along the cheek plate here, aluminum will tend not to heat up as much as the steel. Steel is generally considered to be stronger, but it depends on the configuration and the design. And speaking of design, here we have a spring lock block that holds the bushing onto the pin even when it's opened. This block is similar in some ways, though the cheek plates don't rotate, and when the shoulder bolt comes out, the bushing comes out. 